you kind of breathe a sigh of relief that the season's now starting and nine weeks it will be over. And most of the kids that come up here will never be here again. So it's a chance of a lifetime to, to experience the beauty of the state and the people. As much as I want to have fun, winning's fun. I hate to lose more than I want to win, obviously, and I think every one of our players is in that same boat. That's why we recruited them for a reason. And that's why they're still playing the game. It's very rare for people to have an opportunity to come up and enjoy this. And not, not even play, play baseball, but just travel to Alaska in general. Uh, and they got a little piece of gold up here. And so for them, baseball is obviously priority number one. We want to develop these guys, but at the same time, I want them to enjoy Palmer, enjoy Alaska, go fish, go play golf, uh, and, and dog pile and, and win a ring. It's been a long time coming for us to get it back out in the yard. And uh, we've been wanting to get these guys up here for a while. And to be able to get back on the field and, and see what these guys do is always fun. Um, I think we're all pretty excited and, and ready to get after it come Monday. So Monday can't come soon enough, that's for sure. I play here over anywhere. This is outstanding. I mean, I just can't wait to gain a new family and see the talent that we have. I'm looking forward to the baseball guys. The guys are really cool so far. Um, pretty easy to talk to. Just getting out here playing baseball with all the guys, meeting some new people, but it's, gonna, it's been a good opportunity so far and I'm excited for what's coming. Goals for the summer, uh, just to have fun. Good to be back on the field again. Uh, quick break after the season, but it's good to be back out here with the guys, a bunch of new squads. I just got here about 30 minutes ago, and uh, everybody's been super welcoming and accepting, and I like the environment. All the guys seem like they all want to get the same thing done and uh, get to work, you know? I'm glad to be back. Definitely hotter than it was last year, but we're looking ready for a good season, ready to compete, and ready to win. Taking it all in is, is crazy. I mean, there's nothing like it in, in Texas where I'm from, so uh, it's crazy. Alaska's crazy, and the team's great. I'm just excited to, to get going. The biggest flaw I think we see coming into summer baseball is communication. Every school has their own system they run, right? You guys, what you guys do at Temp Temple, right? Maybe different what, than what does at Kent State or what they do at Penn whatever it is or Delaware wherever you guys are at okay we have to be on the same page because the last thing we need is for us to not be able to communicate the right way and it costs us a ball game okay so it's it's imperative that we get on the same page I don't care what system we use I'm gonna leave that up to you guys a lot and, and, and Kyle coach Watson to get together and find out a system that works best for us does that make sense say we're very anticipated for these guys to get in here and uh, having them here now and seeing what we recruited and seeing how well we think we recruited I hope uh, and watching them on the yard today I like where we're at day one no doubt you lose one here I'll buy you Wendy's every day for the summer 
people forget this is a game. So my mindset is every day we come out to the ball field, I want it to be the most fun our guys have ever had. Every day is a new day, let's have fun. Success will come, you're gonna fail, but at the end of the day, let's enjoy ourselves. And I try to create that culture and try to create that mold. Um, I've hired two amazing guys, and Dilly, uh, James Dillard as our pitching coach, and Kyle Watson as our uh, defensive guy, who also bring that same kind of energy What I tell my guys is, hey, you're here for a reason. What I would do is just, uh, you know, be you. Don't try to, don't try to do anything that's not you. You're here because you can play ball. So go out there and prove it. It's a beautiful place. Uh, people are super nice. Everything's just a little bit slower paced. That, that's my kind of life. A little bit slower paced. Uh, in in Brian Station, where I'm from, you know, things are a little Texas A&M, a little bit different. Everything's fast paced. It's a little bit slower. People, like I said, people are super nice. Where else can you walk out on the field and, and you see snow-capped mountains, almost 360 degrees around the field. So there's not too many other places in America you can do that. So we're excited about the opportunity. Hey, I'm out here supporting the Cali boys. You know, you know the deal. Damn, got a nasty ass cutter, dog. He's cutting, Ooh. he's cutting the hell out of it. I see the way he throws, and I can see it like naturally having cut, but I don't see Dude, it. Dude, it's on it. A boy, a kid. It's on the, the spin. Like, you know when you're just messing around, you throw a two-seam and it accidentally goes that way? What? Did you have a lot to drink last night? No. <laughs> Obviously, the first practice is always kind of awkward. You don't know people's names. You're kind of you're kind of a little shy, even if you're not normally shy. But just knowing that we have solid baseball players and guys who really care about winning, it, it was good to know. It was exciting. I mean, I'm, I like to be outgoing. I like to get myself out there. Um, I like to carry a lot of energy. So I had no problem introducing myself. Um, a lot of the guys seem like they're excited to be here. I'm definitely excited to be here. So, I don't know, that first practice was definitely a little bit of a learning experience. You get to meet everyone and just see who, who's about what and just get excited and get to build a bond that's probably gonna last a long time. I've done it before. I've been, I guess, this will be like my sixth team since I've started college, like school and summer ball all added together. And, it's so funny, the first weeks everyone's like, oh, I'm trying to be like tough with their bluff on, and then uh, by week two, everyone's the goofiest kid you ever met. And you know, it's different than uh, college ball, so there's a little different environment, uh, different, the way the ball flies is different, uh, maybe how the grass plays, it's all different, so I think we're all just trying to keep working and get our bearings. So tonight, uh, head on out there, uh, Herman Brothers Field, Alaska State Fairgrounds. That's where uh, you are going to check out our Matt Sue Miners Anchorage Glacier Pilots. There's always butterflies and, and I think a little bit of nervousness. I think it's nervousness mi mixed with excitement. Um, opening day is a fun experience in general. And so I want our guys to enjoy it. I try to stay laid back. Um, I try to tell our guys to you know embrace the crowd, uh, kind of get engaged with them and have fun and stay focused. And that's what creates success and creates efficiency and creates winning. Pitch swung on and driven high and deep in the air to left field. This one hit well. It is going to get down and roll to the corner. This one misses and gets away. It's Carter Young with the scores. You ever had an opening day like that before? I've not. Uh, I don't think I've had an opening day win actually either. So first, uh, first one, I'm off the schneid, which is good. It's good for our guys. It's never fun opening up with a loss. Now, it's 
opening day with not all our players here yet, so you kind of understand that there's going to be those peaks and valleys like we had today, but that's baseball, and you just kind of roll with the punches. Driven deep, right field, Sorelli knows it's gone, and it is. Like, I'm staying away from that dude, you know what I mean? If you, yeah, if you leave it middle end, I think it's going in a car. Two, two, grounded back to eight. That's a nifty play behind the back. It was uh, surprising at first. I felt the ball hit the glove. I was able to catch it. I think I even like held the runner at second, a little bit of heads up play and then got the, got the out at first. It was just an immediate smile afterwards. Like, there's no way that just happened. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be the player of the year to this point. Cade Manning, one of the newcomers, into the game now. The coaches and the guys in the locker made it really easy on me. They came in, uh, included me early. Um, and I feel like I've been there for a week, even though it was my first day. Kelly back at the track, near the wall. That thing is out of here. Coming in the dugout, the guys were, were all over me, which was awesome. Felt like a, I don't know, just felt like we've been playing together our whole lives. It was a really good cool Dave Manning, welcome to Alaska. My name is Ben Alley. I'm from Palmer, Alaska. Growing up, the miners have been a huge inspiration to me. It's college baseball, you know, and I'm living out my dream as a kid, so this is this is unbelievable. I think it's crazy that I can be another kid's inspiration, um, but it just says that you can do whatever. Like, if you put in enough work, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I've been waiting for this moment for 10 years, you know, I'm I've never been more excited to play baseball in my life. New pitcher to tell you about for Matt Zhu as Ben Alley will take over for Mason Brandenberger who worked three scoreless innings. It's Ben Alley onto the mound for the first time this season. What a cool story here, the local like you said. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Swung on and right back up the middle. Pano with it and short flips on to second throw on to first. Is in time. It's a dream come true in the valley for Ben Alley. Playing Mulcahy, it's definitely a different experience than playing up here in Palmer. It's not as nice. Not as great of a fan base, but um, you know, it, it's a good part, a good part to win at. You know, we love winning against the Pilots and the Bucks there, and you know, I'll go there any day. I mean, as soon as I see another jersey on someone's back, uh, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, I want to beat you, and I'm going to try to get my team behind that same mindset. And once that happens, it's usually game over. So. Anyone with a different colored jersey, a different number on their back. If you don't play for the Miners this summer, then you're our rival. Philip, why are you naked? <laughs> Trying to get a win. Yeah, I like to start off every road trip with a um, Blue Jolly Rancher. Um, and then we like to play some music. Little uh, Timbaland featuring Justin Timberlake, Carry Out. No big deal. Welcome to Anchorage, boys. Time to kick ass. First pitch is going to be a ball. 
exactly right. Exactly what I said. First pitch, swing and a drive out to the right center field gap. That thing is going to get down. Brandon Heidel's going to score. Here comes Rose to third. Watson's going to wave him. Late getting to the ball is Garrett Anglem. He's going to throw it in. The throw's going to come to third. It's a two RBI triple for Casey Sunseri. Bada bum, 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 bum. The one two. Swing and a miss. And the Miners. We'll get the victory here on this Friday night at Anchorage. They win it eight to two, another comeback effort in this one. This team is rolling. It has been an awesome start to the season, to say the least. Um, our boys are hot, our bats are hot, our bullpen and our starters have been pretty spot on so far. So everything's working out our way, um, definitely no complaints. It's a lot of good baseball, playing solid defense, good pitching, timely hitting, um, nothing too crazy, no one's really tearing it up right now, we're playing good team baseball and that's all we can ask for. It's been fun to watch. Uh, usually the first week or so is always tough. Having the guys kind of like bond and come together as a group and I think we've done a really good job so far of them coming together as a team and becoming more family oriented. We just need to go out there, hang loose and play ball. If we can do that, we can win. We can win a lot of games. I think we can go far.